has an amazing voice. He's got drip. He's presumably also a very good fighter. He's rich and he listens. It, it, tell me that this man isn't designed just for the ladies. I mean, for guys as well, if you swing that way. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and or welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Jack and today we're watching yet another part of the intros and stories of Genshin Impact. So, um, I got to play the game just a little bit and I am kind of astonished by the fact that a game that came out in 2020 already has, what, 48 characters? Which... <laughs> Which, in comparison to another game that I am currently rediscovering, League of Legends, has a hundred and fifty-seven champions. And that's quite amazing that a game within such a short amount of time has managed to do that. Hopefully this one will be the one where its Chinese characters get remembered, because nobody cares about Xin Zhao. Totally obscure reference there to some people. And yeah, I know, uh, Genshin is not just Chinese-centered, there are like three countries that we have to deal with, but without further ado, let's not tarry on to this let's check out these intros and we are starting with our bard venti there's an archaic tale to be told that of which is of an ancient one all right that of which traveled among the gods that of which beheld lands undone sea spun so pretty Oh, here oh. comes the evil. How chained to your daily toiling you are. Must you intrude on a bard's leisure time? Dodge. <laughs> 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 Gotta say, though, um, the outfit and... Look, I've been to enough European festivals, for example, Oktoberfest, which... Funny enough, it's in September. <clears throat> I've been enough of those to know what the Bavarian kind of outfit and or bar's outfit looks like, right? I haven't worn one myself yet, but uh, I had the opportunity. Like, the outfit really doesn't help with the confusion of him being a he. <laughs> Just saying. Perhaps the hair as well. Oh, it's an it's a bow. Cool. Some notes can't be played for just anyone. Lest the high winds blow you away. Oh, that's cool. A combination with your team. A solid character. I like the concept of uh, his harp turning into a bow. Bow and arrow. Anime opening right there. Let's go. Okay, that's fire base. <laughs> the color gives it away. It's like a Dora the Explorer kind of character. Just a lot less darker. <laughs> Consequences. Hey, we saw her last time. Wait, are you literally being put into house arrest if you play as her? Oh, please tell me this is an actual mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> you are grounded. No more gameplay for you. Huh. 
cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> Next time, let's go fish blasting together. She could deal well with a young powder from uh, Arcane, just making things blow up. Hey, traveler, I'll let you in on a little secret. All right. Did you know there are monsters that come out at night in Mondstadt? Okay, a bit of darkness in Genshin. I'll tell you everything, but you can't tell nobody. It's a double negative. Up cozy in their beds for the night. Monsters pretending to be the Knights of Valonia come out to trick people. I can even hear their footsteps from inside. Oh the my. <laughs> Solitary confinement. Solitary confinement. <laughs> Perhaps we've made the child studies a little too imaginative lately. That's a good one. <laughs> I think more parents should use that as an excuse. Boats are made for transferring commodities okay. back and forth. Update. And that come across Leo tend to stay a while, so it is where many things come to settle. The environmental design is so amazing here. Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? Farewell, old friend. Whoa. I am the least adept with the bow. And that is precisely why I must master it. Shouldn't let your guard down. Bow staff. Whoa, he's like a multi purpose tool. Without rules or standards. Okay. Why do I feel like this guy is like the stereotypical archetype of the cool guy? Like, he channels like my, uh, don't you know my name is Sagamoto kind of vibe. If you know the anime that I'm referring to, totally cool guy. Like, that, that, that's what I'm getting here. Oh, mandolin. Oh, yeah, rock on. I mean, it wouldn't be this type of game without a cat girl, obviously. Unrecorded star coming soon. Some meteorite showered. I guess this is, yeah, this already occurred, yeah. Sir, need you personally see to such a routine? Shielded. Relax. I have other matters to attend to as well. With a name like that, you better. Excellent. Even if one day we can't continue business here, we can make it far away with this. Shield of permission. But master. What about the debt? Oh yes, I'm here to collect that. Who's there? Quick, guards! Protect the master! No matter what it is you owe, you can't run from your debt. Is that not the law of the God of Contracts in Liyue? Who's that? Tom Nook? Fatui! You can't just barge into a private residence! Guards, show him how we treat unwelcome guests at Yan Shang Tea House. <laughs> Has that Not ever worked? For well, I could always use a bit of exercise. I never would have thought that an ordinary person had a sigil of permission in their possession. It's been years since anyone has seen one of these. Your job is debt collection. Yet you fail to check what treasures he possessed that you might collect. Apologies, a dereliction of my duty. Enough. Let's go. Yes, sir. 
Oh, right. Seems kind of threatening, doesn't he? Dearest sister, I've been away for so long, I've almost forgotten the cold of our home. Yeah, I mean, you know, I grow restless Childe. when life is ordinary and boring. cold. Though in Leo, fuses of excitement can be found everywhere, just waiting for the right spark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> much of an adversary, but enough for a sideshow, I guess. Like, I wish you would have were the good guy in this story. <laughs> Now's our chance. That's so. If you were smart, you wouldn't charge into unknown danger. Yeah, I mean, it seems It'll like our enemies. Victory, but I still won't hold back. I'm desperately Your underpowered. Just been taking care of some trivial matters here, really. But Tonya, rest assured, the future that Saritza desires, the future the people of Shneshnaya desire, Shneshnaya. will be had. Yeah, those were the Russians, <laughs> the the Genshin Russians. I really love uh, the the looks of this. I mean, I've. Just only come across that in a few games. I think, no, I was thinking about Black Desert Online, but like Final Fantasy um, channel that, because I used to play World of Warcraft. There was uh, an expansion called Mist of Pandaria that was very amazing. It did have this like Chinese aesthetic. Uh, well, because the Pandarians are pandas. It's in the name. Uh, it, it was just very well. I loved it quite a lot, but people really didn't care for it. It became like a very forgotten one. People were so mad at it, actually. Until there was a certain thing called the Timeless Isle that kind of made people warm up to it. But it was by the end of the expansion. Nevertheless, I've always appreciated like something that is a bit um, aside from the Western look that we get too often. I guess that is why I'm kind of also excited for... Yeah, a game like this one and or all others upcoming RPGs this year that are less Western centric in a way. It's not that I have a dislike for it, it's just that it's the medium. It's the golden standard, it's been done way too often it's to the point where it's become a bore. But anyways, let us keep going. There. Oh, there she is. The cat girl. Wait, they have an entire establishment? Kiriana, bartender of the cat's tail. I charge a hefty fee for private events. What kind of private events? If I may ask. My ears and tail are no prop, they're real. Proof of my cat's line bloodline. Life as an exologist is very busy. When I'm not at the tavern, I'm out collecting ingredients for new recipes, so... For milk? Is urgent, don't bother me. But you're not supposed to drink milk. We play Genshin exclusively for the plot and for all the fantasies of being a lolly, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, some this people. Me, fairy lady at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Zhong Li. Of importance. This gentleman beside me is our most knowledgeable consultant, Mr. Zhang Li. Dude has the fiercest glare. And I've never been too keen on eyeshadowing uh, male characters. I get to give them like some attitude. It can look cool, but you got the drip and check. I like that. This Noctilucus jade is small, but a beautiful shade of translucent. End of voice. It would be a shame not to buy it. He was designed for the ladies. 
Pasting a windwheel aster to wet glaze before it is fired in the kiln? Fascinating. The flower turns to ash, but its shape is forever retained. Such genius. It would be a pity to not purchase this. Wow. Yes, Knowledgeable in the arts as well. Hard to gather. It must have taken true skill indeed to unearth two pieces so alike. We should buy them. Yes, sir. A fine oh. of Tillicus Jade, artists in porcelain, and a pair of Corlapas, and a windwheel aster as a gift for the fairy lady. Yes, he even got me a gift. Mr. Shangli truly is an amazing person. Oh, wow. When Shangli is cooking, it would be rich. far more appealing to go to Wanmin restaurant as opposed to Sinue Kiosk or Lioli Pavilion. I'm fine with anything so long as it's good. But do they only have chopsticks? You will need to be adept with chopsticks if you are to truly appreciate Leo's gastronomy. Mr. Shangli, we have Springvale boar on the menu today. Would you like to try it instead of the salt and pepper tofu? We'll have both. In accordance with Snezhnayan customs, we gave Xiang Ling a tip for her amazing new dish. Mr. Zhongli values friendly ties over Mora, and is generous in word and deed. Well, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor often foots the cost of his generosity. But thankfully, the Northland Bank is bearing this particular bill. <laughs> wow. Welcome, come in! Excluding this pair of hairpins, everything else is for sale. They're not for sale? Why not? These are heirlooms pawned by a poor fellow to scrounge together money for his wife's medication. I uh -huh. must hang on to them for him until the redemption period expires. It's gonna buy, isn't it? I paid off the shopkeeper and took this pair of hairpins. What a so chad. I return them to their owner with some living expenses on the side. Please help me to conceal these expenses in our accounts, would you? I will be sure to buy you lunch. <laughs> When was the last time that any of you ever saw an abacus? I've missed seeing those things. I owned one when I was a kid, just cuz. No, but uh, Mr. Zhong Li is, uh, he's, he's cool. Let us see uh, a bit of his <laughs> combat. Honestly, once you become entangled with Mr. Zhong Li, there's no getting away from him at all. Yeah, I, I think I caught up to that. He's very enamoring. Oh, the listener. Come on, man. <laughs> He's good looking. He has an amazing voice. He's got drip. He's presumably also a very good fighter. He's rich. And he listens. It, tell me that this man isn't designed just for the ladies. I mean, for guys as well, if you swing that way. We last left off with ancient Liyue, beset by an ocean demon and a mountain dragon. Rex Lapis mustered his adept eye hmm. to restore peace to the land. They say that before he set out, he spoke these words. Ooh! Yeah, I can feel that beat. What's what's the name of that movie again? Uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Lotus. Is is that the name? I I gotta check it out just real quick. Nope, it's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Hidden Lotus. I mean, it it could be because since the Lotus to close itself, but that wouldn't make too much sense. Anyways, his fighting style with the kicking of the lance and or bow staff, if you want to call it that, is is cool. And I love the beat. The beat is nice. <laughs> Oh. This is an age of gods and monsters. I wish not for dominion. Yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer. <laughs> okay, he's powerful. I will have order. Wow. Cleanse 
the land and defend our safe harbor. That was the first contract in Leo. My word. And now, the final contract too. He's like part set in stone. Firebender, part Gilgamesh, Lancer from the Fate series <laughs> with the multiple spears. Pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Channeling the anime. Ice and fire. Almost about to go live over here. You coming? Yeah! Power take it. Rock into the rescue. Oh, or are they both fire based? <laughs> Time to rock. I seem to have seen him use some ice magic before. Yeah, Zinyan is like high octane. She's cool. All right, the Chalk Prince and the Dragon. Do you know the story of Durin and this mountain? Nope, never heard of it. Snow gathers atop this mountain and never melts, which is a most curious phenomenon. In hmm. fact, I believe that the very sword in your hand has Durin's remains in it. As such, who could I find to help me if not you? Oh, Into ice this. monster. A giant snowflake. Who could have thought? <laughs> the design is cool, though. Smart genius. concepts. But I don't think I'm any genius. Ah, great prince, choke prince. Yeah. Moment of birth. My job is to honor my contract with Rex Lapis. Hey, that's the one who choked the dragon to death. Stress. I made a new discovery while sketching nearby. There's an area up ahead that's quite remarkable. The truth of this world. What could it be? Two of us meeting really a good thing. Hmm. The Chalk Prince and the Dragon. At the behest of the alchemist Albedo, the traveler takes on yet another challenge. One that involves a mysterious unknown sword and a mountain entombed in ice for millennia. Onwards and upwards, travelers, in spite of the bitter cold. Alright. Lost riches, old man's treasure seeking shill. Silly <laughs> seems to be quite interested in the traveler. Perhaps you can become a new treasure hunter, partner. Okay. I guess to motivate the players to do a little bit of grinding. Never hurt anyone. <laughs> the fraud bearing tree. And of course, a new pair of wings because that is important. A dragon spine spear. The remains of a giant beast. Are scattered across the Vim and the rest. Vim, what? Vim? Why does it sound so familiar? Actually, I want to say that in German and or Danish, but for some reason, it's it doesn't click. Vim rest valley. 
Excellent material for crafting a rare weapon seem to be hidden amongst these remains. Huh. Alrighty then. Alberto. Alchemy is a mysterious art that revolves around all living things, and the study of life in particular. The equivalent to change. Yes, you certainly make wonderful paintings of anything that piques your interest, Mr. Albedo. Arise, lifeless dust of the universe and that within. Thou art reborn. Do you understand now, Sucrose? <sighs> this man named his colleague and or, I don't know, servant. <laughs> Sucrose? Come on, first and foremost, it's quite different from the Alberto that I know from the Overlord series. If you if, if you come across it, you'll certainly remember her. But, uh, <laughs> Sucrose, seriously? Hopefully she's sweet. Simply amazing, Mr. Albedo. Next, I will paint the common visha. I find the carapace to be its most enjoyable feature. The intricate patterns and even its sheen. Dragon. But the rest of the V-Shop is quite ordinary and requires but a few quick brush strokes. Turtle. Voila. Arise. Oh, Lifeless dust. What? Excuse me, Mr. Albedo, but I fear creating such creatures may sit outside the sphere of acceptability within our roles as alchemists. Oh, is that so? Big brother Ed. Is that the kind of thing that you are not supposed to do? <laughs> Just like always, overly passionate about what piques your interest, yet completely indifferent towards anything otherwise. Your swing and interest this time didn't even leave you long enough to finish your painting. <laughs> okay. Oh, well that is. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was good. I did not expect that. Contemplation in chalk. This is Timaeus's newest design. Hmm. A commendable achievement. Twenty more years. And perhaps we can let him make a start on the textbook Sucrose uses today. Using the power of alchemy. He must create stuff. Okay, hover flowers. Oh, you can channel all the things, huh? That's cool. The universe, the sable essence of the starry void. Cumulative memory of time and being. I sure do hope that whenever you use his abilities, Soil, the origin of alchemy, the you don't of all life. You don't have to go through an entire Sailor Moon Shock, sequence. The substance from which primal life is molded. Gan you the night scenes of Leo, the lantern light of centuries. Only I know that this rising star. <laughs> Thirty pictures. I'm sorry. I'm laughing at uh, a joke that was made by Max or 
um, when I watched his uh, video or review of Genshin Impact a couple of days ago. <laughs> oh, he's hilarious. Yeah, I, I guess I can see why the outfit has come far in the millennium past. But why? Uh, Only I remember the hours at which dew forms on the glazed lilies why and a disappears bell? again. 106,327 heartbeats. The time that has passed since I last knew rest. What? Packing up the stalls, closing up the pavilions. One can almost hear the street lights going out. It is as it is night after night, ever so distant from me. I haven't checked her character description yet. Sorry for pausing, uh, but like the horns. Did she acquire those abilities when she was eaten by the dragon? It was something that was quickly mentioned in that review. The night of Leah. Over. Now that you know the secrets of the night, would you accompany me to work overtime? Huh. Nice try. No way. <laughs> Radiant dreams. She's a dreamer, huh? Just like a dragon, I see. Especially in the. Uh, Eastern view of dragons, they do affect the dreams quite a lot. Sweet flower, so called because of its high sugar content. As a food, it's not the healthiest option, but feasting my eyes on it works wonders for my mood. So, I cannot permit you to trample these flowers. Frost. It's fun how most caster stone jaws have the typical like staff and casting spells. The zombie girl. It was just a dream. All hail. Blaze over. Classy. Pretty graceful. <laughs> but yeah, I guess there's something mysterious about her. Oh, she's got. Oh, narcolepsy. Got that too. Yeah, it, it sucks to have. Version 1.3. How is it made? Ah. Wow. Nice to see some of the characters in action. She did keep her word and actually held a concert. Come try your hand at theater mechanicus. <laughs> That's not my my known mechanicus. <laughs> Seems to be something mysterious about this photographic apparatus. If you're able to, <clears throat> could you try to convince Xiao to go with you? Oh, who this? Vigilant Yaksha. I can always hear them. If you cannot bring yourself to kill, I will speak my name. Evil conquering! Do not judge a death die by your mortal ideals. Go. Oh. I guess some yokai slash oni vibe with this guy. He must be very powerful. Oh. 
Oh. This looks like the kaiju from Pacific Rim. That like a boss that channels all the elements. Dope. Oh, that's pretty. Paimon will help you find her, and we'll spend the next lantern right together. Who's that? Family? You should ask Brother Dom. He knows all about family. Turn right. Okay. You got a free, uh. <laughs> free character. I mean, what's cool about all this is, again, just how appeasing it all feels like. And I know there was a bit of an argument on the, on the video that I uploaded, uh, the, the reaction to Max Source, about how it is the, the constraint that they put on you playing sometimes. Because, well, more or less like the gacha mechanic of it. But to that, I feel like, uh, personally for me, I think it's good. Uh, so that you can perhaps focus on other things, sure. Uh, it's a triple A, so some people will like just to complete more as they have time for it. But, like, sometimes it's a personal choice, of course. There's, there's, you are completely free to disagree with this. But sometimes I would have missed um, to have a game pull me out of it. For example, right now I'm playing an RTS called Total War 2. And then I didn't realize how long it actually requires for you to... <laughs> just complete one part of the campaign for one of the factions and it's pretty damn long but because it's like a turn-based thing it just ends up taking a lot of my time and i i'm lucky that i have things to pull me out of it if else i would have just been sucked in because it's quite interesting and there's a lot of micromanaging and all this i mean i think it's even worse when it's an mmorpg because you are actually living all the actions that you're doing. It feels, yeah, more immersive. But that, that's just a point that I'm trying to make with that. Um, yeah, I can't fold them too much for pulling you out for a little bit. Okay, next one. Yaksha to Guardian Adepti. In ancient times, Liyue was a land of misery where the shadow of evil loomed large. Hmm. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters, and mutations infested the land. Yeah. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. Okay. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter, purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our lives. But... Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them, phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. Whoa. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three. One the fourth vanished. Without a trace. Turned evil. Millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Guyan, and in the sound of the Dihua flute, <laughs> is his memory preserved. It's cool. Nice lore. I guess that he's fighting with keeping his sanity as well. 
so that he doesn't succumb like the others did. Hmm. Interesting character. I like that type of, uh, that archetype. These are Zhao. Stay out of my <laughs> Let's go back to that. That was exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> An actual spear warrior that is interesting. Soundtrack. The price I pay for eons of slaughter, ephemeral circumstance, perpetual agony. Finally, Doc Lawrence. Up there. Wow. With the bit of the dark tone that he channeled there, especially with his abilities, like you could guess that already, like something somber was about this man. But he is definitely cool. But guys, this is going to be it for part two of the Genshin character demos. And yeah, I guess we'll finalize it with the next one. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, you know how to do. Hit the like and all subscribe button. And as well, if you have any other recommendation, leave them in the comment section below. With that, I wish you a wonderful evening and see you guys in the next one. Bye.